The top classic luxury watches worn by golf players. Golf is known as a sport for rich old men. And the rich old men are known for spending crazy expenses on things like houses, cars, boats and watches. Today we are going to have a look at the most expensive watches worn by professional golf players. Let's stop waffling and start with the first watch. Let's start with Sam Burns, the Rolex Junior Player of the Year 2014. He was Rolex Junior Player of the Year, so you could probably guess what kind of watch he wears. You guess right, a Rolex, and specifically, a Royster Oyster Perpetual Date Just 41, the two-tone version, which means it's made of two different metals. It's in a case made out of 18 karat gold and steel. This watch is going to cost you around and a half thousand US dollars. A nice watch to kick the list off. The next golf player we are talking about is most definitely the best golf player ever existed. I am obviously talking about Tiger Woods. This man is known for his stinger golf shot and his impossible golf putts. He does not only like golf, but he also has a really big passion for fishing, which is why the watch he wears is made for the sea. He owns two different Rolex Sea Dwellers Deep Sea. This model isn't a very popular watch, but it's a very cool one. He owns two 44mm ones, which can be taken to a depth of over 12,000 feet, which works out at 3,900 meters. He owns a normal version, but also a special one that was created to commemorate James Cameron's historic solar dive to the bottom of the Marina Trench, some 11,000 meters deep. From twilight blue to bottomless black, its two color gradient dial celebrates one man's journey to the deepest place on earth. The normal version is worth around 15,000 US dollars and the special version around 20,000 US dollars. Enough of this watch, let's take a look at the Sky Dweller. Both John Ram and Phil Mickelson own a Rolex Sky Dweller. Phil Mickelson is known for his unique style of playing and his famous over the head shot. John Ram is known for a very consistent game and is one of the best on the leaderboards. They own different Rolex Sky Dwellers. John owns a steel one and Phil a rose gold one. The Rolex Sky Dweller is the most complicated Rolex ever made. The Sky Dweller displays the time in two different time zones simultaneously and has an annual calendar. The reference time in 24 hour format is shown via an off center disc and the local time is read using conventional center hands. The annual calendar named Saros automatically differentiates between 30 and 31 day months. It is operated by a patented mechanism and stands out for its innovative display. The months of the year are indicated in 12 apertures around the circumference of the dial, with the current month marked in red. The instantaneous date change is linked to the local time. The steel version that John owns costs over 35,000 US dollars, and the rose gold version that Phil owns costs over 60,000 US dollars. Phil is clearly winning with his watch game, but is he also winning in golf? I'm not too sure about that one. Phil Mickelson also owns another Rolex, a watch we don't see very often. I'm talking about the Rolex Cellini Danaos, which you almost never see around. Even though it's not even an old watch, the Cellini models are just not very popular. Which is a shame, because I think it's a very cool watch, and for five grand, it's only a steal. Somehow or other. Oh! No! No! Go on, go on! Oh, that's a The next player is still a rookie in the golf scene, but not in terms of his watches. He's only 24 years old and has six professional wins to his name, Although that's nothing compared to what players like Tiger Woods have, who have 110 professional wins. I'm of course talking about Victor Hovland. Stay off the weed. <laughs> he has some very cool watches like the open-worked Audemars Piquet Royal Oak, a watch we see on the wrist of many other more athletes like NBA player Dennis Schroeder, aka Dennis the Menace. If you want to find out more about the NBA players' watches, you can click the link in the top right side of the video. Anyway, this particular watch is very complicated because it is made without a dial as you can see. It costs around 180,000 US dollars. This is not the only Audemars Piquet Royal Oak he owns. He also has an Audemars Piquet Royal Oak chronograph, also known as the Panda, because it has dial collars of a panda. This watch costs around 50,000 US dollars. Not every day that you see a 24 year old with such expensive watches. Now we are introducing a new segment. Watch of the Week, and in today's Watch of the Week, we're looking at Rory McIlroy's watch. This week, it's about the rarest and most unique watch. 
I'm talking about the very cool Omega watch. We don't often see Omega watches and definitely not an item as rare as this. He was spotted wearing this particular watch during practice for the Masters in 2020. The Masters is one of the biggest golf tournaments ever. He almost never wears this Omega while playing golf though. The watch costs around 30,000 US dollars. But enough for the watch of the week, let's move on to Ian Poulter. Ian and Poulter owns a very rare in-your-face Audemars Piquet. Most of the golf players wear very elegant watches that are on the opposite of this watch. However, it's still a very rare and cool Audemars Piquet and to be precise, an Audemars Piquet Royal Oak Concept GMT Tourbillon. This model first got introduced in the year 2002 and as you can see the watches are very in your face. But they are also very good looking, especially in this white version. This watch is going to make you a house less rich because it costs 200,000 US dollars. But stay tuned because even more expensive watches are coming next. We have arrived at the big boys now because we are looking at Bubba Watson's two insanely complicated and expensive watches. To begin with, his special made for him Richard Mill RM055. This watch can stand over 5,000 G-forces. To create those forces, you'd have to go to the speed of a rocket. So it's well developed. For Bubba, with his insane golf club speed of over 190 miles an hour, Bubba Watson is also one of the few players who wears a watch while playing. That's probably because one of his sponsorships is with Richard Mill. This watch costs over 450,000 US dollars. That's obviously an insane amount of money if you ask me, but not for Bubba, who has earned a lot of money by being a successful golfer. He also owns another watch which is made especially for him, and that is the RM3802. The watch case is symmetrical and made out of a carbon TPT. He also has an RM055, which has a unique carbon pink and white TPT. He specifically asked to add pink details in the watch. That's also why inside of the watch there are mini pink golf putters. It's produced in limited stock of only 50 pieces and its official retail price is 855,000 US dollars. However, this watch is nowhere available and is almost impossible to get your hands on. That's why the price of this watch goes well over the million dollar mark. Not bad considering Bubba probably didn't even have to pay for any of these watches. Bubba Watson's watches are definitely the icing on the cake. A very nice way to end the video. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and comment down below on what you want to see next. And if you don't want to miss any other watch related content, you should subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram for more daily watch content. Without further ado, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.